Okay, folks, Private Jack here. Liam Kit here has got a problem where he just can't get things to load using my video, how to install the pony. So we're going to do it a different way. And actually, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the phonemes and the emotions as well. So here we go. Just check to make sure that the volume is fine. And instead of playing music this time, I'll actually talk our way through it. So I'm going to go to the deviant site that uh, he's indicated here <clears throat> don't know why it does that oh there we go okay so whole bunch of downloads here and basically uh, shading v3 shading ponyville maps for sfm and what we're going to do is we're actually going to come in here and we're going to down the props characters and sfm scripts all in one pack and we're going to take it from media fire so we click on the link here brings up the media fire site i'm going to click on the green button here download it's going to pop up the screen of course rid of that and down here is where my browser tells me it wants to save the file so I'm going to file save that as to my desktop and down it comes it takes about a minute and a half and done so now I'm going to go back to my desktop and here it is right here. So this is an alternative method to loading this pony pack up. And what it's going to do is keep things away from the user mod folder and it's going to actually create a mod. We're going to create a mod folder for it. So I'm going to open up the pack and inside the pack I'm going to find a folder. Click on the folder I'm going to find uh, down the first level is the uh, phonemes and the IK rig and the emotions. I'm going to click into the MPL pony pack and I'm going to find the two folders that I require. I need the models and the materials folders. And this add-on text, well, basically what that is, is a text file required by Gmod, from what I understand, if you're going to load these things into Gmod. Anyway. We're looking at Source Film Maker here, so I'm going to come back into uh, my Source Film Maker folder. I'm going to go to the Game folder, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it VN Ponies. That's all I'm going to do for now, and I'm going to go into that folder. So I'm in Source Filmmaker Game VN Ponies, and now I'm going to come back into the uh, RAR that I downloaded from Mediafire. I'm going to select the models and the materials folders, and I'm just going to drag and drop them right there. Uh, this is going to take a couple of seconds to do because there's quite a few files. And bing, there they are. Okay, now I'm going to go back up a level. And I'm going to take the phonemes and the emotions and I'm going to drop them in the same folder, VN Ponies. Now for the IK rig, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the game folder and I'm going to find platform, scripts, SFM, anime set, and I'm going to drag and drop the IK rig in there. So that's game, platform, scripts, source filmmaker, anime set folder. Okay. I'm going to close that down. I'm going to get rid of the RAR. Now I'm going to open up Source Filmmaker. 
And before I run Source Filament Maker, I'm going to run the launch the SDK. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Edit Search Pass for Selected Mod. And I'm going to scroll down the list here. I'm going to turn on VN Ponies. And I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to drag it up above. Come on, get up. TF Movies. So that VN Ponies is the very first file that this particular, uh, that Source Film Maker is going to open. Uh, better yet, maybe I'll just pull it down and I'll put it underneath Half-Life 2 so it's the second folder. So the order of priority right now for my game info file is going to be TF Movies, TF, Half-Life 2, then VN Ponies, and then the rest of the add-ons that I have. And just to make things run faster here, I'm going to turn off most of these because I don't need them for this video. TF Workshop I'll leave on. Leave the workshop on, leave my TF4 on, and there we go. Okay, now I'm going to launch Source Filament Maker. I'm going to create a session. load a map and let's come down here to uh, capture gorge there we go now I'm going to create a camera and I'm going to come up to somewhere. Where's a good point? Right there. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to create an animation set for a new model. And let's type in VN and see what we get. And here are all my ponies. So if I scroll this over a little bit, I find that they're in the mod folder VN ponies. Let's pick up Applejack, throw her into the scene. Uh, come down here, we're gonna grab a hold of the, and just drop her onto the platform here. And there she is. Okay, so we've got Applejack. We've got the we've got the pack loaded properly. Let's have a look and see if we can see her rig now. And if I scroll down here, there's the Pony IK rig right there. If I click on that, now I've got her rig. Not liking the way that moves. But this isn't my rig. There we go. Hmm.
looks like there could be some uh, work done to that. But anyway, that's beside the point. At least she's got her rig. Now, phonemes. I want to add phonemes to Applejack. Right now she has none and she has no emotions. If I look up here, all I have is the procedural bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Applejack. I'm going to right click on her animation set. I'm going to take her animation set into the element viewer. Here under preset groups, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to import an element. And remember we threw um, her phonem and her emotion set into that folder that we created? Well, let's go and find that. So down here in VN Ponies, there's the emotions, there's the phonem DMX. I'm going to click on the phonems and it's going to create a phonem preset group. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to right click on preset group and I'm going to import an element and I'm going to bring in the emotions. Now if I come back into the animation set, what I find is that I have two new tabs called phonem and emotions. And if I open up here and turn off the rig, There we go. In her face, all that shows up is her eyes. All her, the rest of her body functions, like her face functions and whatnot else, are down here in the unknown. So if I click on this and I start moving my sliders for the phonemes, Okay, so they work. Mm. Uh, and the emotions, A. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, we can see that the phonemes all work. Mm. Okay, so anyway, that's how you get the pony pack into Source Filmmaker without using user mod. So I'm going to delete the other reference that has over 3,000 or that has about 3,000 views on it, and throw this one into YouTube. So. With that, Private Jack, out. <laughs>